Hey everyone and welcome to my home. So today I thought I would do a fun video to kind of distract our minds from all the seriousness going on and just give us some spring hopefulness um, by decorating a tiered tray. I have been watching all of these videos and I just love them. They kind of cheer me up in, during this time where I'm stuck at home. But this is the tiered tray I'm going to be decorating. It's honestly not the best um, tiered tray for decorating, but it's what I had. And in interest of saving money, I said, I'm just going to use what I have. And then pretty much everything I'm putting on it today is going to be from Dollar Tree. And so I wanted to keep it very budget friendly. So I just went to the Dollar Tree one day, loaded up a bunch of stuff, and then I've had fun kind of playing around with it to see what I could do. There's a few pieces that are not from the Dollar Tree, but everything I want to say was like $5 and under each individual piece. I think altogether <coughs> it was maybe $20 to do the whole tier tray. So I'm going to go ahead and get right in with this and I'm going to start with the top tray and I'm going to use some fun Easter grass here and I'm just going to put it around the top um, again to add some color. That's what I love about holiday decor is you don't always have to do you know elegant pieces. You can have a little fun with color and that's what I'm doing. So I put that grass there and then my sort of centerpiece or top piece for the tiered tray is this adorable little bunny. I got him actually at TJ Maxx and he was only $3.99. Can't beat that. And I love anything right now with these like little wooden bead detailing. So I'm going to put him kind of up top here to hide this little um, top piece. All right. And sorry, my eyes are going to go from like looking at y'all to looking at the thing, but trying to make it work. So I'm gonna set him in there. And then my next piece I'm going to add, I got from the Dollar Tree these cute little egg uh, cartons. And they actually come in six, but I cut this one down so it'd be a little smaller and fit in the top tray. And whoop, almost dropped him. I'm gonna slide this around so you guys can better see what I'm doing. But I'm gonna take this part of the um, carton and kind of wedge it into this little metal piece here to hold it all together. And hopefully that will help my bunny balance too. And then I'm going to spin it around because right here, this little empty space, I am just going to be adding some little yarn wrapped carrots. How cute are these? I got these at the Dollar Tree and they were four for a dollar. I'm like, you can't beat that. So I'm going to spin it around here just so I can look and I'm going to give a little height with the grass and just tuck these into there. And I'm realizing now I did not take the price tag on my bunny, but I can always go back and do that. So that is the top tray for you. Pretty cute. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to start on the middle section. So for the middle section, I wanted to do something a little different uh, to break it up. And I got this ribbon at the Dollar Tree as well. And look how detailed it is. There's like eggs and bunny, a little bit of glitter. And it does have that like metal uh, ribbing. So it has a little more structure. And I am just going to wrap it around the middle tray here. And I really have, whoop, this little bunny guy is just not wanting to stay. I may have to work on that. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of wrap it around. No real planner theme here. I figured that once I get it in the tray, I will fix it how I want it to be or how I need it to be to hold the pieces. So I'm just kind of going in and out from the center back out to the edge. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm going to tuck that in piece. So again, there it just adds a little bit of height and a little bit of color to the tray. And then in here, this is when I'm going to start to have real fun because look at this greenery. I love this. It has like the grass and then the little glitter eggs. I just thought that was adorable. And I'm actually going to kind of lay it around the back here. And I'm going to tuck sort of this end ugly piece into the yarn so you don't see that. And I'm just going to lay it across the top and I'm going to let that grass just kind of hang out and give some greenery. 
and twist it back around to where the front so you guys can see it better. There, and that is just kind of hanging off the side. And then the little eggs are kind of coming toward the front. Then what I did, I actually already have these bowls. These are just a part of my dishes, but they had really cute ones at the Dollar Tree that had, I think it's called like hobnailing around the edge. So you could get them there. And then these um, jelly beans are from the Dollar Tree and I love them because they are pastels. And I haven't eaten any, but my husband snuck a few and he said they were actually pretty tasty. So then I'm going to set these kind of in the back toward the side here on top of that greenery piece so it will kind of pump it up and give it a little more height. I hope spinning this around isn't making y'all dizzy, but I'm trying to show you all the angles. Okay, and then in the front here, I'm going to take one of the egg cartons and I kept it just the way it came, six eggs, and I'm gonna tuck it in the front. And then we have to move things around just a little bit. Like I said, this tier tray does not have a lot of height between the um, layers, so it's not the best, but like I said, it's what I had, so. All right, there we go. Let me just adjust these. And then that is it from the front. This is a little too high. There we go. Oops. So now I have my little eggs popping out. I got my bowl of jelly beans and then the cute little eggs and greenery. Now, let's see, I have some more of these little yarn wrapped carrots. And I think I may put them in kind of over here with the uh, bowl. Just again to add a little more texture and color. And there we have it. Look how cute. Like I said, this one is really fun and colorful, um, very festive. Okay, and then for my bottom tray, I'm going to use more of the piece de grass. And I'm going to just spread this all around the bottom. I actually, when I first made this, I did it with tulle. But I decided that I wanted to have fun with the color. And I did more Easter grass. So I'm just going to kind of spread that along the bottom. This bunny just does not want to stay. We'll be fine once the tray is not moving around, but I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing here. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do, this is the cutest little bowl and I got it at Target. It was $5, but it looks like a little flower. And I filled it with um, some M&M eggs that I actually got at the Dollar Tree. They actually had like name brand candies there. So that's always good. So I'm just going to set that down there. And then again, I have another piece of greenery, the same type that I've just bent to kind of angle around and I'm gonna set it on the bottom coming the other direction so my eggs are not facing kind of the same way. And then over here, I am going to put another, um, let's see, I don't wanna do this. Actually, I think I'm gonna angle these a little further back and put another bowl of the pastel jelly beans back here. Tuck that in. Have my little X come around it. These break these up. And then again, I have another little carton of six eggs. Oh, there's a runaway carrot that I'm going to tuck. Spin this room right down here to kind of hide the back side of that greenery. Just to give it a little more dimension. And then in here to kind of break it up i'm going to add some fun little speckled eggs these were the extra ones that came out of the one that i cut sorry they're doing the yard next to me so that is what you hear um, break that up and then i have more of these yarn carrots so i'm going to kind of stick them around Again, just to kind of break it up. I think I'm going to put those right there. And I think I might put another one up here to kind of wedge with this bunny to help him stand. And then maybe 
maybe I'll put this one down here with the um, eggs. Oh, I like that. All right. Anyways, this is the finished product. I'm going to sit it in here on my sort of eat-in kitchen table. But I hope you guys um, liked this video. Hopefully the angles weren't too uh, crazy. You didn't get dizzy watching me. But I will take another view of the finished product so you can see how it looks. Um, but I just love it sitting in here on my table whenever I look at it. It just reminds me of spring and I think it's super fun. So if you liked this, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys again. Bye!